right, it looks like uh, Bangkok's rolled out the gold tuk-tuk for the Bangkok list to rule them all. Number 13, Mr. Mark Weens had as what a rune. So it costs just three baht to cross over the top five. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna scratch that right off the list. So today, number 13 on the new Bangkok list to rule them all is Siam Square. one of my favorite neighborhoods to walk around and uh, what we're gonna do today is we're gonna immerse you on a near real-time journey as we go and walk this neighborhood so we're out in front of Siam Paragon this place is massive oh you're also gonna get a look at how ridiculous it is watching me shoot videos here in Bangkok you're gonna get a little behind the scenes This is Siam Paragon, giant Bangkok mega mall. This has got crazy high-end shops. Like, like one thing about Bangkok shopping malls that might surprise you is how crazy high-end the shops can be. You could easily kill a couple hours in there, but be wary, your pocketbooks are gonna take a hit. We got some action going here, apologies for the noise, but uh, right across from the Siam Paragon Mall is the Siam Center. I gotta get out of here. Let me just see if I can escape. Oh my God, oh it's soaking wet in here. A few moments later. Now that we're out of the noise, I can tell you a little bit about that. A much funkier, independent fashion type of zone. I don't love either of the two, but if I had to pick one, I'd personally go the funky route over in Siam Square. Um, but what you're gonna wanna do now is cross through the BTS. So on one side of the tracks are the two glitzy malls, and on the other side of the tracks is a little, a little taste of something different in Bangkok. This is Siam Station. So you're gonna be here at Siam Station, and you, you, there's a massive station, two BTS lines wander out. Oh, got some schoolgirls having a little schoolgirl trouble, perhaps. I hope that everything's okay. Got a Starbucks here. And this is Siam Square One. So this, across the street, is another mall. Three malls within a stone's throw. Come over here and start walking down here. This is like a concrete, really urban sort of mall. The stores in here aren't so impressive. They have, um, on the upper floors, they have a lot of doctor's offices. They have uh, all kinds of those types of things on the upper floors, all the way down. And then ultimately this shoots you back out into the reason that this made it on the list. And if you've been following the channel, you know that what I'm walking into is what I like to call the Korea of Bangkok. Feels a lot like Seoul out here. I just spent a couple of months over in Seoul, right off the bat. K-pop at the Fire, the Fire Tiger by Social Club. And then you come out here and this street it's different than a lot of streets in Bangkok. This is more what Seoul streets are like. You can see it's, it's, it's closed off to traffic. It's, it's closed off to traffic. This happens pretty regularly. It creates just a really cool vibe. This is just a funky taste of Korea. You know, I'm not gonna go all the way down here, but I'll just give, give you a glimpse. Super duper funky. You see people flexing their fashion, their fashion muscles. You see all kinds of Korean restaurants. 
This is definitely a big selfie zone. There's, it, it's an independent music zone. So this place always has street parties ready to go. There's a bunch of side soys. Um, so I am like soy two, soy four. There's all kinds of these rows of side soys, art galleries, of course weed shops now in every corner of Thailand. And uh, you just kind of beetle around the neighborhood. I love it here. It's always such so vibrant, such action. This is where the Thai young people show what they show what they got. This street. Wall to wall, Bangkok is not famous for its sidewalks and its its ease of use in uh, walking in, around this city. It's one of the reasons I do love coming here. One of the reasons why you guys should definitely come here. There's another side soy right down the street there. There's it's lined with restaurants, cafes, art galleries, uh, funkiness abound. And then this, this is the the pinnacle right here. This is this really is Siam Square. So look at this building behind me. The history of this place, it, it used to be one of Bangkok's biggest slums actually. And then uh, I can't remember when, but decades ago, massive fire burned down and Chula Longkorn uh, took it over and uh, completely rebuilt it. And man, like they, they did a good job. You don't see this every day in Bangkok. It has a bit of a, it has a bit of a New York feel to it. The architecture is super cool. Oh, check this out. So what they kept. How are you? I'm doing well. Nice, looking good. Nice. Siam Square, baby. I want to take this time now to uh, shout out France because France has watched the 13th most retired working for you videos out of any country in the world and this is where I got to shout it back to my motor bikes and loud speakers. This is where it ties back to my daughter Anna because uh, my daughter Anna speaks French so shout out to you Anna I'm thinking about you I love you I hope you're watching this video. If you enjoyed that little behind the scenes walk down Siam Square, if you do come here, come towards the late afternoon, 3, 4 p.m. It's the best time to show up. That's when it's bumping. Just before I go, I wanted to thank everyone out there who's uh, picked up a piece of our newest merch. This went on sale a couple weeks ago. Lots of people jumped on and grabbed it. So uh, thank you for all your support. If you haven't checked it out yet, go to our website, retiredworkingforyou.com. Got all kinds of good Thailand lovers merch. Now, you're gonna see a little box pop up here. If you're watching in the future, that's number 12 on the list and Oh boy, not too shabby. If you're watching live and direct, I'll see you tomorrow.